Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmore Outdoors. On this video, we'll be modding out a seven inch old hickory. Getting back to the old Hawkmore roots. So, y'all stay tuned. All right, we're gonna get this uh, blade set up here. Get a little duct tape. Cover the uh, sharp part of it. And we're gonna get this thing deconstructed. We're going to get the grips off of here. Oh, that was easy. So, I use another old hickory to get these handles off. That one popped off real easy. It's not really, it hasn't been that easy before. That one's off. Save your little rivets, because we're going to use those again. And there you go. Deconstruct it. For the modification, we're going to shave off or grind off this hump on the back here. Then we're going to try to follow this line that's already there. Work with that. I don't have a like a floor stand or a belt sander or anything like that. Um, I'm just using some simple hand tools. You know, that's what I have. I've done this a lot. I've made several, did the same thing I'm doing here to this one. Look, came out very nice. Have yourself some water. If you're doing this method, have water. Do your, your grind there, dip it in the water. Because if you do it too long and you start discoloring the blade, you're losing your temper, so, uh, or you're hardening. But I'm just taking a couple of grinds, a couple of passes, dipping it in the water, coming back, making sure that I'm trying to getting towards that line that we uh, predetermined. Get back to it. All right, we have taken off the pump on the back of this blade. It's starting to look good. Got a little bit more fine tuning because I'm trying to make it look like this one. All right, we'll use this uh, hand sander here. Clean up the uh, spine of this a little bit and uh, do a little bit on the blade. I like the way this looks. It's just aesthetics pretty much, but it gives it kind of like a like a stone washed, I don't know, little kind of look on it. Um, also want to hit the handle. That'll give some, a uh, little bit of an abrasive surface for the glue to go onto when we put the uh, grips on. And once you have your knife, Decreased. We're going to go ahead and put a force patina on it, and we're going to be using just your standard yellow mustard here. I'm going to give it a little, little backward stripes down. Make some of the blobs bigger, some of them smaller. It's been about 15 20 minutes, kind of lost track of time, but uh, I'm going to wipe this mustard off. See what it looks like. There it is. All right, flip the knife around and we'll do the other side. Mustard, it's not just for hot dogs now. All right, the blade from the uh, mustard patina came out real nice. And now we're gonna do something that is very controversial and uh, we've done it on this channel before and hundreds of people complain, complained about it. It's telling us not to do it or it's poisonous or something like that. And uh, we're gonna be using Gorilla Glue to attach the scales on the knife. Gorilla Glue is cheap and it's in a lot of stores. It's at Walmart, so a lot of people can find this. Um, but we put Gorilla Glue on almost all of our knives and Test with that is Meyer throws his knives at trees a lot, and guess what? They've stayed on. And he's taken to Alaska, we've taken them down to Texas, we've taken them everywhere, used them a lot, and those handles are still on there. Get your scales, put a little bit of water on them, Gorilla Glue on there. Plenty. Put that 
one there. Here. And wear gloves. I'm not. I really don't care. You should wear gloves and safety equipment for everything that you do. All right, I'm wiping off all the excess glue here. We're getting ready to hit these rivets on. Now, best thing to do, big hammer, do this on a nice hard surface. Put your rivets on. These handles are gonna get sanded down. Anyways, but they are on there nice. All right, we got the blade in here into the vise. You can also use a couple clamps. I just like using the vise. And we're gonna let this sit for overnight. Put a little bit of jimping on the spine. Yeah, just give you a little more grip when you have it. We're gonna finish the handle up. Came out real nice. The glue dried and set very well. As the grill glue dries, I go in and I wipe it down so that there's not so much excess uh, glue that comes out from the uh, scales there but we'll finish putting a little bit of jimping on the front on the top of the spine and we'll get to the handle part <laughs> All right, it's coming along nice, taking off all this excess glue here and getting it shaped down to I want how I want. And I'm also taking a little bit off the front here. So your uh, index finger, your pointer finger there, is a place to go along with that jipping. Give you some uh, good grip there. I'm gonna do a lot more than I normally do. All right, we got some board linseed oil. We'll get it on this handle. Just a nice protectant. It's gonna soak in there. It's gonna pop. All right, time for the big reveal. Here it is. It came out nice. It looks like something from the 17th century. It's really cool. Um, me and my were ground down the back, took that hump off of it. Gave it a nice slope down towards the, the uh, tip of it. Put a little bit of jimping on the back of it. Did a little bit of a divot on the uh, front of the grip there to give you a little bit more grip onto it. Took a little bit of, uh, made some slashes into the uh, handle material there. Ground it all down, made it nice. It's just a real nice looking blade. I mean, quite impressed with this one. Well, came out real nice. Very impressed with the blade. A couple hand tools, a couple power tools. You can mod them out pretty much however you want. But get your keep cheap K-Bar sheath off of Amazon. You're ready to rock and roll. But you made this far, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for all that you do. You have a good one. Once you have your knife sanded down just the way you want it, you're gonna wanna clean that blade up using alcohol. I'm gonna be using Evan Williams Honey. This is 60 proof. If your blade's dirtier, you probably want something with a little higher octane. So, I'm gonna get to cleaning.